Hey Chris, I wanted to make one more quick video and show you how to set up your confirmation emails and the messages that your clients will be sent when they uh, place an order. If you go ahead and log back into your dashboard and you come down here to settings. If you go on notifications, over here, these are the email templates that are set up by default within Shopify. The first thing that you're gonna wanna edit is the order confirmation email. This is what gets sent to a client when they place an order. So if you click on this, this is your edit window that pops up. Now one thing I wanna point out, these, uh, I don't even know what this symbol is called, but this double symbol here and this double symbol here. Don't get freaked out by those. That is associated with Shopify's uh, own programming language, it's it's essentially, it's called a uh, liquid, this is a liquid tag, and that tells Shopify to pull in um, these values, shipping address, name, shipping address, street. So these are the things that get pulled out of the order and placed into the email. You don't have to worry about that, but you need to know what they are because you're gonna see a lot of those in these templates. Um, you can bounce back and forth between HTML and plain text. If you want something fancy and really pretty, then I will help you set up an HTML email uh, template. But for right now, I would suggest you do plain text email for everything, even because they have a better delivery rate. Um, sometimes if you send emails with a lot of HTML on them, spam filters will catch them and, and bump them out. So uh, when you open up, again, you pick one of these templates, order confirmation. This opens up our edit window and make sure you click on plain text email. If you come down here to preview, this is a, a preview of what your client will receive. So you can see here, here's the message. Thank you for placing your order with Hope Track. Well, that's not right. We want to change that because we at least need a capital T. This email is to confirm your recent order. Here's the things that you ordered. Here's your billing address. Thank you, thank you. So go ahead and close it. You can also click back to edit. So once you're over here, this is the line that you want to change. Now the reason I pointed the liquid tags out is because right here we have one and it's saying pull in the variable shop name or the value shop name. That's where that hope track comes from. So you can take this whole line, delete it, some changes here pretty straightforward let's go ahead and click preview hi this is Chris thank you for ordering my awesome product they are awesome if you have any issues contact me directly so uh, I'm gonna close I'm not gonna save that uh, and it looks like it's still saved so let me go ahead and refresh this page I didn't tell it to save so that should go back so when you make your changes, when you're happy with them, right down here we have the save button. Go ahead and click that. Uh, I would go ahead and hop through these other templates, see if there's other, anything you wanna change. And I would also change this order notifications email to uh, your new at hopetrack.net address. And I believe you can just add another one, but I'm not sure. So. Uh, that should work for you. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.